Does things start to heat up in here? Yeah, I'm surprised that... Uh, oh, and a left hand. Oh, and that stung Monday. A follow-up left also stung. He's moving funny a little bit. Crawford grinning, coming in. Harder attack. Senses it. Right to the body. Lundy swinging. Wild, crazy. That's for Crawford. Thank you. And down goes Lundy. Down goes Lundy. 16 left in round five. His legs are funny. He's up. He beats the count. Are you all right? Are you all right? The referee says. All right. They're going to stop it. His legs don't look good, folks. Terrence Crawford coming in, facing Hank Lundy. Both hands. Lundy trying to fire back. That's it. Round five, stoppage victory for Terrence Crawford. He says, see, I told you so. They're hugging it out, Woodsy. You won. Oh, what did we bet? Fist bump. <laughs> so, whose walk? was activated. We heard talk all week. Terrence Crawford. He was patient. And then he became the predator. He ramped it up. A little bit more in round three. A little bit more in round four. And then round five. Dropped the hammer. On that's, the hammer. That's instinct. Some, some things you just can't teach. And We're going to be it. seeing some replay action. Doctors are attending to Lundy right now. Team Crawford whooping and hollering. So pumped up. As they should be. He just turned it on. He just turned it on and caught him, and Lundy never recovered. As they say in this day and age, he turned it up. He turned it up. That's right. Time to stop it. What? 2.09 in round five. And I bet you Lundy will say he didn't want the fight to be stopped. Got to see some replay action. Monty Barris, tell us what we're seeing. Basically, you're seeing, you're seeing Crawford cut the distance and land those clean shots. And it buckled, it buckled Lundy. And now he's looking for a place to just... Well, right there, he was throwing desperate punches. He was trying to find himself, but when you hurt, you hurt. That There's initial, nothing you could do. That initial overhand left did it, and then he just finished it. The left hand from the lefty stance proved catastrophic for Hank Lundy. And I think Crawford... Going to see the end of the fight now, folks. Put the hammer down on the hammer. Referee saying, show me, show me. What do you got? Oh, it's all Crawford here. Power punches, stepping in, closing the show. Referee says, no, Lundy, no more punishment for you. I'm going to halt the proceeding. Better safe than sorry. Smearing left, smearing right. In comes the referee. Saves him from further abuse. Another angle. Right hand, another chopping right. Left hand. In a corner, trapped, dazed, confused, hurt. The man from Philadelphia cannot battle his way out. And let's take a look at the family. Oh, whoop and hollering, excited. They knew it was going to happen. They love their kid. They know. All praise goes to Terrence Crawford. Smile, big grin. Yes. Call Moretti from main of, from uh, top rank back there. WBO president there. Christina Poncher is going to be heading up for some chat with a victor. After a little bit, going to get the uh, time of the stoppage from Lupe Contreras and Hank Lundy saying, I'm okay. Yeah, he caught me. He caught me. Big grins from Terrence Crawford, who does go to 28 and 0. Lillis steps in to protect the blue corner from receiving any further punishment. Stopping the bout with an official time of two minutes, nine seconds of round number five. Your winner, by way of technical knockout and still, WBO super lightweight champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. Counter by Crawford. Great combination. Oh, that hurt him. That yep. hurt Diaz bad. Yep. Good body shot by Crawford. One or two more of those to the body, Roy. Yes, I think he's yes, more hurt he by that left hand yes. to the body. He is, Max. He wants to go down for that body shot. 
Oh, good hook by Diaz. I would say for people to, oh, good left hand from Crawford. Diaz in trouble again. Diaz was in trouble a couple times. 154 pound fighters functioning in the middleweight division. And to your point about lineal, and this he is for himself. As he's taking a pretty bad thrashing here. Yeah. See Crawford land a beautiful overhand left at the beginning of the round. That took all the fight out of Diaz for that particular round. How can he beat you up, but nothing was gonna one punch knock you out like it, that. It's not just that Crawford accumulates small advantages, it's that he figures out how to exploit big ones, and he does it. He got one punch power. This guy's 161. That's why he's taking it. If he was in, if he was 140 or 145, further short in his career. Oh, good shot by Crawford. Oh, oh. Oh. Dennis Diaz is one game fighter, though. He's not quitting. They're, they're not going to let him out for the next round. And there's the stern look on the face of the Diaz family. Yeah. As they stand at ringside. And now Joel Diaz waving the white towel. And we're done. Amazing. And his power seems to be increasing with each passing fight. And this is the end. Yeah, that was a good shot to the throat, followed by a beautiful right hook, followed by another left hand, straight left hand. Followed by another right hook to the top of the head. He just was landing too many punches. Joel Diaz realized that and just called it off. Parents, Bud But Crawford, there is the left hook, and this is where he can be most dangerous, Mark. Crawford will lay on his, see him lay on that left side. Punching between punches, and a flush left hand, and here comes Bud on the attack. Half minute to go in round eight. Can he finish him? Strafing shots to the head. Horn is hurt. Body shot. Left hand came just short. Big day. Brave. Brave. Strike the Relax. Breathe it in. You've got to stay on the whole time. We're all good. He's good. He's good. Good. He's good. With a round, Will he soon be a three division champion? With a round like that in evidence, if you're Glenn Rushton and you love your fighter, how long do you let this thing go on? About boxing. Only takes one punch. He has been thoroughly dominated. He has been hurt. He has been outclassed. But all it takes is one go of it. Yeah, and he's still coming forward. Yeah, Crawford knows he's weakening. He's stepping to him. He knows that he doesn't have the power on his punches like he did early in the fight. So now he's stepping to him and he's his corner to at least factor that in. I don't think we're there yet. I, I mean, I get you, but it's I, a consideration. I disagree. Big left hand, right hook. Uppercut sends him back. Another left hand and a knockdown score. Let's see what Crawford does with it. Here he comes. Backs him up with a left hand again. Horns in the corner. Uppercut lands. Crawford on the attack. That's it. It's over. It's over. We celebrated an under. He is tough for anybody in the welterweight division. We have been blessed. On ESPN to watch Vasily Lomachenko. Official. They are ready to party here in Vegas for the kid from the U.S. of A. And now the new undefeated WBO welterweight champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. Серьезно приспособиться к Кроуфорду. Сказал, что умеет э, держать удар. Вот здесь два апперкота прошли у Бенавириса. Хорошо смещается и навстречу. WBA. Хорошо сейчас ловит Кроуфорд Бенавириса. Удар не по корпусу с дистанции практически. Вот сейчас там Кроуфорд быстрее. Он может себе позволить. Отличный удар слева, навстречу. Да. Удар был точен. 
сильно встретит Кроуфорд, зависит от того, насколько быстро вперед пойдет Бенавидис. Хорошо попадает. И опять этот джеб, который на протяжении всего поединка очень сильно шел, отошел канатом. Бенавидис выманивает Кроуфорда на себя. Не, не видели. Pushes him back into that blue corner. Attitude. Can't teach that. Kaviasa got to let that right hand go. As soon as Terrence Crawford gets close, he needs to throw a right hand, a looping right hand. He needs to throw a shot at Crawford to back him up off of him. He's Crawford. throwing. He just ain't backing him up. Crawford very comfortable standing right in front, punching between punches as Kaviaskis. Nice tie drives up. him straight back and ties up, and that'll get him through round number eight. The 38th edge in punches landed. Round number nine. Buffett took that last he, round off, and he's got a rhythm to him right yeah, now. Yeah, he's back. Oh, a lunging left hand that backs up Kaviaskis. Oh then an uppercut. Absolutely brilliant uppercut. Four, five, six, seven, hey. Remember, he is I'm one of the in. best closers in the business. Let's watch how he does it here. One punch, that's it. Bud Crawford, title defense. Terrence Crawford wasn't happy, mauling him, came around with the looping left hand, hurting Kaviaskis, getting him against the rope, and then look at the uppercut, how he sneaks it up the middle as Kaviaskis leaned forward just a little bit, and he found a way yeah, with that not, nice uppercut. Yeah, it's not difficult. Terrence Crawford made up his mind, and I'm going to stop you for hurting me, and I'm going to do whatever I have to do to, to get that done, whether I'm in the yeah. southpaw stance or the right-hand stance. And Kaviaskis felt every bit of Terrence Crawford tonight, and he realized that his levels to the game, and this dude has an intensity that's different than most. And here at the end of the fight, Terrence Crawford again attacking with that looping left hand that was available for him earlier. And here it is again. Nice little uppercut coming around. Down goes Kaviaskis. Got to get that last punch. Beautiful right hook right here. Yeah, that hurt. Right on the ear. That hurt. And down goes Kaviaskis. And that was the end of the fight right there. Amazing work from Terrence Crawford. And still, the undefeated WBO welterweight champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. Importantly, 2020, everyone's expecting great things from you. Who do you want? Well, listen, I've been saying I fight anybody. I've been saying that for I don't know how long. So I don't really got to call out anybody. You know, I fought my mandatory. That's because I had to. I'm not ducking anybody on the PBC side or even on the top rank uh, side of the uh, platform. I f I'm, like I said, y'all pick them, I'll fight them. You pick him. Who would it be? You're the guy that calls a shot. Well, listen, man. If I could pick him, I would have fought all the guys that I picked before. So there is no need to say any names because, you know, everybody know who I want to fight. I want to fight all, all the top guys. It's simple. Thank you very much, bud. Congratulations.